This presentation, Cancer Committee, is sponsored by the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Foundation. During this presentation, we will define what a Cancer Committee is and describe what its responsibilities are. We will identify the required Cancer Committee members and review their attendance requirements. We will also explain the Cancer Registrar's role in the Cancer Committee. The American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer sets guidelines for cancer programs that wish to be accredited. The COC accreditation program establishes standards to ensure that structures, processes, and outcomes necessary for the delivery of quality cancer care are in place. Every three years, the COC conducts a survey at the facility to ensure that they are compliant with all COC standards. This presentation will cover one of the required components of a Commission on Cancer accredited cancer program, the Cancer Committee. The Cancer Committee is a multidisciplinary leadership body that is responsible for monitoring the cancer program's structure and services. This multidisciplinary committee is represented by physicians from diagnostic and treatment specialities and non-physicians from administrative and supportive services. Leadership is the key element of an effective cancer program. A program's success depends on the Cancer Committee effectively setting and monitoring goals. The Cancer Committee leadership is responsible for goal setting, planning, initiating, implementing, evaluating, and improving all cancer-related activities at the facility. The Cancer Committee's key responsibilities are to appoint a Cancer Committee member for all required coordinator positions annually. We will discuss the required coordinator positions in a moment. Maintain and monitor ongoing compliance for all eligibility requirements and standards for accreditation as set by the Commission on Cancer. Set and monitor annual programmatic and clinical goals. Establish and evaluate the quality of the cancer registry data, which serves as the basis of reliable outcomes of care. The Cancer Committee monitors cancer conference or tumor board activities. This includes overseeing the types of cases presented and making sure all major oncology disciplines are involved in the treatment discussions for each patient presented. Because clinical trials are so important in the advancement of cancer treatment, the Cancer Committee also monitors the number of patients accrued in clinical trials. The Cancer Committee is required to monitor the cancer program's effectiveness of their community outreach activities, such as prevention and screening. The Cancer Committee must also monitor the attendance of the required Cancer Committee members to successfully fulfill the responsibilities and ensure multidisciplinary input. It is imperative that all appointed members, physicians and non-physicians, regularly attend and participate in Cancer Committee meetings. Cancer Committee members conduct cancer-related educational activities to keep physicians and ancillary staff current with advances in cancer care. They ensure that pathology reports are compliant with the College of American Pathologists guidelines and contain all the key elements needed for determining diagnosis, staging, and treatment. The Cancer Committee is responsible for offering cancer-related educational activities, ensuring pathology reports are compliant with the College of American Pathology requirements, conducting studies that measure the quality of care and outcomes for cancer patients. The Cancer Committee is also responsible to meet COC-established performance levels for specific cancer-related measures. The Cancer Committee is required to meet at least quarterly or more frequently if necessary. In large cancer programs, the Cancer Committee may establish subcommittees to manage specific areas such as cancer conference activity, quality control of registry data, and community outreach to name a few. However, these subcommittee meetings cannot be counted as meetings of the full Cancer Committee. The Cancer Committee makes important decisions about the cancer program goals that result in improving the quality of cancer patient care. Therefore, it is imperative for all required members to regularly participate in Cancer Committee meetings. For the Cancer Committee to be compliant with attendance standards, required members or their designated alternate must attend at least 75% of the meetings held each calendar year. The Cancer Committee is composed of all major disciplines involved with cancer care. The required physician members must include at least one representative from the following physician specialties. Radiology, pathology, general surgery, medical oncology, and radiation oncology. 
As stated earlier, the Cancer Committee must also have required non-physician members in attendance. The required non-physician members are the Cancer Program Administrator, Oncology Nurse, Social Worker or Case Manager, Certified Tumor Registrar, Palliative Care if services are provided on site, Genetics Professional if services are provided on site, and Quality Management Professional. Additional individual members of the committee are appointed to coordinate and monitor important aspects of the cancer program. There are six designated coordinators that are also required members of the cancer committee. The cancer conference coordinator monitors the cancer conference activities, including types of cases and attendance. The quality improvement coordinator monitors quality improvement activities within the cancer program. The cancer registry quality coordinator monitors the quality of cancer registry data. The clinical research coordinator tracks the number or percentage of patients enrolled in clinical trials. The community outreach coordinator monitors community outreach activities and reports them at least annually. These activities may include cancer prevention screening and education performed in the community. The psychosocial service coordinator works to provide, improve, and expand the range of psychosocial services specifically to make sure the patients have all the support and resources they need through the trying time of having cancer. An individual cannot serve in more than one coordinator role. However, one of the required physicians or non-physician members may also fill a coordinator role. Additional members may be added to the cancer committee. The cancer committee would determine who these additional members would be. They may decide to have specialty physicians representing the top cancer sites that are seen at their facility such as a urologist, neurologist, or gynecological oncologist. Members may also include representation from hospice, nutrition, rehab, psychiatry, or mental health, pharmacy, pastoral care, or the American Cancer Society. There are two major leadership roles within the Cancer Committee. The Cancer Committee Chair, who is usually appointed by the medical staff or chief of the medical staff. The Cancer Committee Chair conducts the Cancer Committee meetings. The Cancer Liaison Physician is responsible for evaluating, interpreting, and reporting the program's performance using National Cancer Database data. The Cancer Liaison Physician must report the results of this analysis to the Cancer Committee at least four times each calendar year. The Cancer Liaison Physician serves a three-year term with eligibility to serve an unlimited number of terms based on performance as assessed by the COC and the Cancer Committee. A required physician member may also take on the Cancer Committee Chair or Cancer Liaison Physician role. Cancer Registrars usually assist in coordinating the Cancer Committee and Subcommittee meetings. The Cancer Registrar may monitor the Cancer Registry Quality Control Plan and assist with the Physician Quality Review of the Cancer Registry data. They run reports utilizing the Cancer Registry data to include in quality studies. They present many different types of reports to the Cancer Committee. Some of these reports include timeliness of abstracting, data accuracy and completeness from the National Cancer Database reports, the annual follow-up rates, and the submission of NCDB and State Central Registry submissions. The Cancer Registrar participates in community discussions and decision-making. They make sure the COC standards are followed and maintained. They maintain supporting documentation of all COC standards, Cancer registrars document committee actions by recording them in the COC survey application record. They may also take the cancer committee minutes. Ideally, the registrar should not be given this responsibility to allow him or her to take a more active role in the committee discussions and actions. However, this is not always the case. The cancer committee is a multidisciplinary committee that is responsible for planning, initiating, implementing, and improving a facility's cancer-related activities. The Cancer Committee consists of specified required members to ensure representation from diagnostic and treatment specialties, as well as administration and supportive services. The committee must meet at least quarterly and required members or their designated alternate must attend at least 75% of the meetings. The Cancer Registrar is a required member and provides the committee with multiple reports. Thank you. This presentation is brought to you by the National Cancer Registrars Association Education Foundation. For more information on the Education Foundation, go to www.ncraeducationfoundation.org. For more information on the cancer registry profession,
go to the NCRA website at www.ncra-usa.org.